allege that 16 Michigan residents met covertly in the basement of Michigan GOP headquarters and knowingly and of their own volition signed their names. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel is charging 16 people across the state for their role in a false elector scheme during the 2020 presidential election. Nessel says these 16 people were not duly elected and qualified electors. She says some of the people attempted to enter the state capitol and deliver these votes, but they were turned away. This plan to reject the will of the voters and undermine democracy was fraudulent and legally baseless. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel releasing this video today on her social media pages. She announced charges against 16 people here in Michigan. Some of those charges are conspiracy to commit forgery, forgery in uttering and publishing. And as Michigan's top law enforcement officer, I am obligated to hold bad actors accountable whenever and wherever such violations occur irrespective of party affiliation. Those charged include Amy Facinello. Facinello is a trustee with the Grand Blank Community School Board. She was elected in 2020. Undoubtedly, there will be those who claim these charges are political in nature. According to the Michigan Secretary of State, in the 2020 election, 5.5 million Michiganders voted. Joe Biden received more than 2.8 million votes. The Secretary of State says that is about 154,000 more votes than Donald Trump. But we believe the evidence will demonstrate that there was no legal authority for the false electors to purport to act as duly elected presidential electors and execute the false electoral documents. Nessel says her department is not ruling out additional charges. I reached out this evening to the Michigan GOP for an interview or comment about these 16 people charged and have not heard back. You can read more about this story on our website, minmichigannow.com. We also have a list of the charges and also the 16 people from across Michigan who are being charged in this. The Michigan House Republican leader Matt Hall released the following statement. He said, quote, the charges brought by Attorney General Nessel are serious. She bears the burden of proving them in the court of law and demonstrating that they are not politically motivated. But my focus is on the legislature. The integrity of our elections is being eroded by bad policy signed by the governor just today. That opens the door to fraud by weakening ballot security, encourages bad actors to meddle in our elections. Republicans, independents, and Democrats should all have confidence in the security of our elections. The partisan bills signed by the governor today don't do that and are a significant step backward for our great states.